gon' give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. All right, so I've actually just now started uh, my Asus Overclock using Turbo V Evo. I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm not even gonna touch it. So uh, it's run through two runs already, and uh, we're gonna see how awesomely high it gets because I'm sure it'll get really high. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so right now we're at 11%, going up to 12. Um, it's going to do its thing. It's gonna test all the cores. Max them all out right now, as you can see it's doing pretty fun. Uh, doing stability tests. Uh, right now we're at really, really hard to see up there, but it's actually 3278. I can try and make the focus. Sorry about this, this isn't exactly my camera and it's not exactly a new one, but uh, yeah, anyway, so that actually says 3278. Uh, that's 149 by 22, up 12% doing his thing, stability testing, and um, yeah, looks like everything went well. It's going to run through voltage, let you know how everything's going, and it's going to try and jump it up one more time, up 14%. So um, as you can see, this is really hard work. I have to do a lot. Um, as you can see, my hands are on the keyboard and mouse at all times, always. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. And I'm just going to go ahead now and, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to be a trooper here. And uh, in order to make this overclock work, I'm going to have to um, actually do nothing. So, yeah, there it is, doing its thing. A lot of freaking die. Yep, so here I'm gonna go do my thing to help the overclock process. So, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself. Sorry, this is a bit of a mess. I'm a messy kid, what can I say? So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and play some Counter-Strike. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play Counter-Strike. So, let's get started up here. A second, you know. All right, Counter Strike Source. So, oh, that wasn't even the server I wanted. There we go. Yep. Let's let's go ahead and let this. With this load. Oh, that's right. I'm I'm overclocking. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. People are dying. Oh, sorry. Overclocking. Got to focus. Okay. Back to it. 17%. That's, that's very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing too bad here. I'm at an 18% overclock here. 3, 4. 3, 4, 5, 4 megahertz. So, yeah. I'm, I'm doing pretty good if I do say so myself. I'm... Not too shabby at overclocking. Alright, well. <sighs> Back to the hard work. Um, yeah, I'm just I, I'm just gonna turn this, this off. I don't wanna waste the complete battery. Um, and uh, I'll be back with you in a second here and show you how hard it is to overclock with Asus. Real hard, guys. Real hard, just so you know. Putting in a lot of work here. You, you really, really, obviously, obviously, have to know what you're doing as it's overclocking. Like I said, right now I'm, I'm working my hands to the bone as it's overclocking, working real hard. All right, I warn you guys, I'm not very good at this game. You can't exactly laugh at me. Like I said, I'm not very good at this game. Look, I gotta do what I gotta do to overclock, okay? Sometimes it's not pretty, but I have to overclock. Alright. 
Time to get back to overclocking. Me again. Hey guys, let's overclock. All right. System's just rebooted. So uh, we're gonna see how the overclocking is gone. So yeah, this is the boring part. I'll be right back, hold on. All right, and like that, we're at an 18% increase. Uh, three, four, five, four. We know it's completely and utterly stable, so you won't have to worry about it. So, um, yeah, I didn't do anything but play Counter Strike Source the entire time. Um, well, not the entire time. I did go out, and get something to drink, get something to eat, you know, anything but sit at this computer. And I automatically got an overclock. So, like I said, it's not very hard to do. It's really, really awesome for people like me. I've overclocked one system, system sitting behind me, right there. That's the one system I've overclocked ever. So, I mean, it works for me because I'm not having to put in a lot of the work. The one I did behind me, I did all BIOS, and I will do this one by BIOS eventually, um, if I need to. If I can get away with just doing this and being lazy, trust me, I'm gonna do it. So, we'll see how high it gets. I'll check back in with you. Until then, I'm gonna go back to doing what I've been doing, which is doing really, really, really hard overclocking work via CSS.